guys, thank you for joining us here at True Gamers with Juan. I'm excited to tell you about the God of War Stone Mason Edition, what we got here for you today. Right here behind me, BAM! But now it's tired of no longer looking at the poster, but being able to look at the beautiful box. You know, we got it from, we pre-ordered it from uh, the game store. Not like you don't know which one, because uh, there's only one left alive. Uh, we got the whole entire edition. We got everything that comes with it. Of course, we got our little figures. We got our keychain. We got a ring. That's right. I got a ring now. Now, so rest of you guys, I can say I'm married to the game. Can you say that? Check it out. Here we go. The God of War Stone Mason Edition. Let's dig inside. <laughs> First thing it comes with is with a special collector's box. This here is just a box casing. Inside, we have a few different pieces of content, starting with the video game. The game itself come the game itself comes with a collector's edition metal box case. And this here is their God of War. Thank you. Collector's edition box. Back to the front, which continues to the top. Now, for those of you who cannot read Greek, I'll tell you what it says. <clears throat> you got a lot of cool stuff. Okay, now with that being said and done, <laughs> here is our box. Your DVD, your, DVD, your uh, game case here. Now, let's take a look here for a second. Let me show you what the inside looks like. Here's some of the beautiful scenery that's inside the box, inside the case. Yes, you can tell I've got my uh, sticker in there for my warranty. The, the metal case itself on the back. Beautiful tin. And of course, for those of you again who can't read Greek, God of War. Surprisingly, they don't put the number of edition of which God of War this is in the series. It's just God of War. That's one thing that is cool about them. They keep everything consistent in the fact it's just called God of War. Here's the next set of items that come in the God of War case where the uh, DVD, the game used to be. We have a few different items in here. This one here is pretty cool. Actually, all of them in here are pretty cool. It comes with a cloth edition of the entire map in which the game is used on. <laughs> so that way while you're playing, you can actually have this pinned up on your wall. Uh, you can put it wherever you want to so you can look at it, either in front or behind you. The uh, time that they spent and the material that they used to make this is very nice. It's like a really thin leather. Uh, so it's really nice. It feels actually authentic and pretty cool. If you have the money, I would recommend getting it framed. Uh, that's the, uh, the cloth map. Because I'm dropping everything else that comes with that. Thank you. And of course the decals. Maybe, if I can open it here. <laughs> For a God of War. A collector's limited edition as still from the show. From the show. 
from the game. If you ever get a chance to to collect these and uh, you go to like a uh, comic convention and some of the game makers are there and some of the uh, artists take these things with you, not just one because it multiplies in value, but because uh, as a true gamer who does not like to sell stuff that comes when it comes to gaming, uh, it adds more value for the whole entire series, personally for myself. Uh, this year, I will be attending, of course, uh, San Diego Comic Con again. So that's one thing I'm uh, awesomely excited about. Put that right over there. Then, of course, it comes with my figurines. That's right. This one here. These ones here are the uh, the brother dwarves that make and improve the weapons that I use. They're the ones who made uh, Thor's hammer. So this is pretty cool to have. You know, they're an inch and a half, two, they're two inches. So you have both of them in there. They're very important to the game, which you'll see as, as you're playing it. So that's one of the cool things about it. And then over here, we have a talking head. Open that right there for you. Now you're wanting to know about a talking head. This is the guy right here. In the game as you've played it, you'll notice that you have to sit there and cut his head off in order to go forward in the game. Pull the little tag out here. Horrible sounding, but pretty cool. It's me, Mamir, the smartest man alive, and I have the answers to your questions. Woohoo! I think that's it. For, oh, no, there's one more in there. This one here, of course, should be the dolls. Now, when I say the dolls, uh, the items behind me, the cool thing about them, I think it's open up here, is uh, they sit there, and on certain items, and when you have to do. Uh, For certain chests that you have to find the particular items in order to get them to open up. You have to find these little guys right here in order to uh, hit them in the right category. So with these ones here, when you're looking in for certain chests, you have to find these little guys right here in order to open up the chest with certain categories. So that's one of the cool things about it. And of course, My Little Pony. Oh wait, wrong show, wrong show. Not My Little Pony. <laughs> so it's one of the nice things about it is they have actual things they have to do with the game. It's very important to the game. And of course, now that we've opened up some of the fun stuff, Let's take a look at the small items, shall we? Let's dig right in. I'll get both sides. There. Woo and of course, the God of War symbol. Got some tape on here. There we go. Let's move this open first. Now, one of the things that I'm most excited about is this little box right here, which we'll get to last.
it's pretty cool because on the boxes they put uh, one thing in there. Ah, let's see here. Take crayfish. Use these bathrooms. Opens right up nice and easily. Like father, like son. The detail that's on this. From his power move to his son's bow that his mother made for him. A little bit of information on the bottom. It's number for the addition. His shield that you can use if you choose to use a shield. The Insta Life. Pfft. Bow to the head. And the last piece that came in this series for the Stone Mason edition. Thank you. The piece that I've been waiting for. Now this piece here that we're pulling out is actually a particular part in the game. There's actual mission, missions you have to do for this particular item. The box. Check out that ring. There are particular missions that you must do in order to find this particular ring. And of course, it fits. As you, pro as you uh, progress through the game, you'll find uh, particular missions that you have to do in order to get this ring. And what you have to do is you have to go inside a cave as one of the brothers sends you to find this particular item, when you find this item, the work you have to do, it's pretty much fun. I'll be upside down. The map, and of course, Kratos himself. The different realms, the different world. That's us, True Gamers, the Stonemason Complete Edition. So we look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have some fun, and we'll see you at the next beheading.